wherever you write your income and expenditure we call it as income statement once you done with your financial statement like income and expenditure the next step will go for what balance sheet whatever the financial statement you prepare whatever the cash flow you prepare everything should abide by what rules and regulation A warm welcome to Anand all. This is your other sir here, lecturing Vidya Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing your unit number five, that is called as Corporate Financial Report. Now this is completely theory oriented. Theory oriented in the sense you are ten mark question, fifteen, two mark. Everywhere it will be there. So easiest one, hardly will get three to four pages of notes. In three to four pages of notes, it will carry more than twenty-five to twenty-seven marks. Now, so what is a corporate financial reporting? Corporate means what? Companies. Financial report means what? All your P and L, balance sheet, cash flow, fund flow. all your accounts related budgets everything comes under your financial reports so corporate financial report means what what is their importance what are the benefits how they present each and everything we will learn today introduction to corporate financial reporting very a small topic as well as important for your examination your passing is how much 21 out of 60 your passing marks you can get from only this unit itself by reading 3 to 4 pages you will pass in financial accounting and reporting now corporate financial reporting is not only to show the financial statement of corporate but it includes to highlight important financial data and to show the application of financial policy a good financial reporting will show true financial position of company company can save from hidden losses if it is accounting highlights critical points in it in this way it is helpful tool to investor for better decision making for example there are hidden costs are there few profits are not shown only all these things will come to the picture if the accountant points out our accountant show that these are the changes has to be made definition of corporate financial reporting so these are all your two mark question you have to remember the two lines definition for your two marks next so once you done with your definition part the corporate financial reporting income statement what is the income statement it is also called as profit and loss account your trading and profit and loss wherever you write your income and expenditure we call it as income statement in income statement we come to know whether company is earning profit or suffering loss so your day to day business whatever the transaction happens by looking at that you cannot treat yourself you are under profit so still your your busy life still you are very busy in your business still you cannot determine that you cannot consider yourself you are under profit when do you consider you are under profit always remember if your p and l account shows that your expenses are lesser than your income then you are under profit your expenses are more than your income then you will be called as loss it is giving the form of dividend which is showed in the statement of retained earning net income after all adjustment it transfer to reserve and surplus section in the liability side of balance sheet so whenever you have profit or loss it will go where in your balance sheet after your capital the surplus reserve and surplus will be there surplus in the sense your profit if you are under profit it will be positive if you are under loss it should be negative the second point we call it as corporate finance report balance sheet once you done with your financial statement like income and expenditure the next step will go for what balance sheet you have to balance your liability with assets the corporate finance report shows the financial position at given point of time it provides the information of all the assets and all the 
liability. If you borrow loan from outsiders, that will go to liability. If you carry any assets or if you're, you're supposed to be paid by outsiders, that will be called as your asset. This financial report is useful for balance sheet analysis. If you want to analyze your balance sheet, compare with your last year balance sheet and this year balance sheet, this is very important. Corporate financial report of cash flow. Why cash flow is important? You have financial statement like p and trading and p and You have balance sheet also. Still why you need cash flow? The major part place is cash flow. Reason is very simple. Assume that your sales are 10 lakh. Your purchases are 7 lakh. All your expenses 1 lakh. Now tell me. 10 lakh is your income, 8 lakh is your expenditure. You are under profit or loss? You are under profit of 2 lakh. Again, I'll repeat, your sales 10 lakh and your purchases and all the expenses are 7 plus 1, it is 8 lakh. 10 minus 8, you are under what? 2 lakh profit. You feel happy that I am under 2 lakh profit. But what is your bank balance? How much cash you are having? There is a major one. All the sales happen 10 lakh, all on credit basis. Assume that. All the sales happen what? Credit basis. All the purchases happen on cash basis. Means you spent 8 lakh, but your income is zero. Even though sales showing 10 lakh, you are supposed to collect from your debtors, but still your cash balance is what? Zero. Can you run your business without cash? Even though it is showing profit, your bank balance going minus 7 lakh, 8 lakh you paid out of your pocket. You have not received even 1 rupee from your customer. Then we consider cash flow. Cash flow will show the real cash position what you are having. So there is a reason cash flow make, plays very major role in your financial statements. Cash flow statement tells us the net cash flow in the operating investing and financing. All the three activities are there. Out of three, what is your net cash outflow? It will result. This indication of helpful analysis cash flow. This report explains the sources and application of liquidity of company. Liquidity means in the form of cash. Corporate financial reporting explanation of financial policy and notes. Now, now we studied what is, first one is what? Financial statement. Second one, balance sheet. Third one, cash flow. What is the fourth one? Fourth one will go with the policies. Now, big corporate also makes some financial notes and explain the financial policies in detail with the above financial report. So whatever the financial statement you prepare, whatever the cash flow you prepare, everything should abide by what? rules and regulation. Whatever policies they have, it should follow. These are the major things we have to remember. In these policies, companies show its inventory policy, depreciation policy, debt term, dividend policy. It also show list of losses and impairment on fixed asset. These are the points you should remember. Qualitative characteristics of accounting information are traits that allow financial professionals to more easily understand and make decisions on accounting report. These are the major things you are supposed to remember. Next, corporate financial report explanation. Yes, the policies. Policies, there is a continuation. There are six different types of quality characteristics of accounting information. What are the characteristics? First one, it should be complete, completeness, neutrality, so it, there should not be any bias or confusions, free from errors. If there are errors in the calculation, obviously what happened, it will not give the true and fair result. You have done wrong calculation of income, wrong calculation of expenses. Obviously we call it as what? Error. Error always give you wrong information. Remember, the six different characteristics or qualities are completeness, neutrality, and free from errors. Then, 
Once it is free from errors, the next point will be to create accurate financial prediction. A company ensures that its financial information is verifiable. The next point is verifiable. Now, completeness, neutrality, free from errors. And next one, verifiable. Every time whatever you enter in the system, you should verify with the original copy and whatever it is entered. There may be chances of clerical errors. So there is a reason you always have to check. To create accurate financial prediction, company ensures that its financial information is verifiable. Verifiability involves authenticating financial information and calculation by using several independent sources. These are the major things you are supposed to remember. Understandability, the next point, continuation I'm doing actually, I'll show you. After completeness, after neutrality, free from errors, the fourth point is called as verifiability. Next, fifth point is called as understandability. By looking at your financial statement, even though you're non-commerce background person, still you should have the basic knowledge. By looking at net profit, you should think that, yeah, there is a profit. By looking at loss, you should see that, oh, there is a loss. By looking at the value of asset, you should know that, oh, there is a value of the asset. These are the basic thing. It should be understandable by looking at your financial reports. Since decision making for a company often involves professional outside the accounting department, such as managerial profession. Yes, assume that I am the manager of uh, some company. I don't know anything about accounts, but I have money, I have invested, I know how to manage the people. So for me, whatever the reports are there, it should be understandable. Understandable in the sense, the basic things should be shown in the financial reports. Comparability, you should compare with other companies. You should compare with your previous uh, your balance sheet. You can compare with the neighbor. Neighbor in the sense you are running some institution, the same kind of institution you can go and compare with your financial statement and their financial statement. All the company financial statement, you'll get it in the online, but you will not get in detail the gist or brief uh, report you will get it in online. Timeliness, whatever reports you prepare now, it should be timeliness, very simple. Whatever the classes, notes, everything I'll give you after your examination, is there any usefulness? No. Whatever the information I'll share, it should be before your examination, then only it is useful for your exams. So what are the uses of financial statement? We have done with your qualities or characteristics, now we are going to users. Now, Users are bridging the gap in the management. See, the management will not come and sit with the accountant. Management will not come and see how the production is happening, how the sales are happening. Just by looking at the report, they will get to know. You are the shareholder or you are the stock uh, holding of some company. You will not go to that company. You will ask all the manager, what is the transaction? What is the sales today? No. By looking at a report only, you should know how the company is running. Availing credit from lenders. So the company usually should be debt free, means the loan should be less than that company is called as. It is a better one. It has a life. The hundred percent you have taken loan only from outside, then that company is not debt free riskier. So use of investors, they have to make perfect or proper usage of investors. Then use of government. So whatever reports you give now that will be used by whom? Investor. Whatever reports, if you want any loan, the government will ask you, show me your financial report. So you have to show your financial report to avail loans. Use for stock exchange. Stock exchange, if anybody wants to buy any share means the first thing they see whether the company is trustworthy company by looking at the financial statement. Information on investment. If you want to invest on something, what you will do? First, you will see whether it is good or bad, whether it is worth or not. These are the things always you're supposed to remember. Limitations, you have done with all the advantages, quality, the features, role, everything is done. The next part is what 
disadvantages what is the limitations of your financial reports the first one not a reflection of the present financial position usually we prepare financial reports when at the end of the financial year at the end of the financial year means in between whatever happens on fraction of second or on the real time you will not get any information hope you are clear you have to wait till the march 31st then another one month for all the preparation then the report will come to your hand in between whatever happened you will not get any informations then possibility of bias there may be confusion there is no proper documentation no proper records rs the accountant is not uh, like eligible candidate then what happens there may be chances of bias next one the absence of vital information whatever the records they enter in the financial statement if there is no proper documentation proper invoices proper supporting documents then there may be chances of absence the chances of missing of some topics then lack of qualitative information there may be lack in quality also qualitative information may be lacking next lack of details whatever details they provide no may be lack for example i'll share you some information you share with somebody that person share with somebody finally when it reaches to management whatever information i shared no completely diluted and some other information will be reached these are called as lack of details so this is all about your corporate financial reporting i'll go back i'll show all the slides if you want to take screenshot you can take corporate financial report introduction definition income statement balance sheet cash flow these are the policies verifiability understandability comparability timeliness these are the uses of financial statement these are the limitations so this is all about your today's session we are almost done with your theory topic of your corporate financial reporting please give more time and more importance on this topic because less topic will give you more marks thank you